Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you a really cool, albeit maybe sketchy, um, guitar hack trick for your pedal board. So uh, you may, or you're probably well aware of patch cable kits uh, such as George L's, Lava Cable, there's many more probably out there. Those are probably the two that come to my mind when I think of those. But um, the other alternative is, maybe you've seen these, maybe you haven't, is just generic kind of patch cables. So I've got some in my hands right now, and uh, I'm going to show you how to turn this, which is, the white's not so bad, but a lot of these packs come in like bright pink and neon green and yellow and whatever else, brown, things that you may not want to see on your pedal board, especially snaking around other pedals and just making a mess. So you're going to probably want black, right? So how do you get this? You, there's really not, for whatever reason, well, I know the reason, but you can't really get these in just a pack of black because they're patch cables, meaning that they're for audio um, situations where, you know, you want to plug in, you want to connect different channels to each other, and you want to be able to see the color differences, like, visually right off the bat, so you're not confusing channels and things. So, like, like oh, I want to see where the green wire goes, or the green cable, so... That's why these are different colors. They're not really guitar meant to be guitar patch cables. Um, the other part of that is they are also TRS or tip ring sleeve. If you can see, um, there's a there's two black lines going around. So uh, typically your your mono cable is your guitar cable is just a, a TS and a, a or a tip sleeve, I guess. Um, so one thing about these TRS cables is some pedals do not like these. I just bought a, a version three True Tone Jekyll and Hyde pedal, and I found out quickly that if I plug in this and in the input and out one, another one in the output of the pedal, it does not work. The lights don't come on. Um, I actually haven't tried it to see if signal goes through, but if the lights don't work, you know it's not very useful. Um, so you can buy these. I think that are. The, just the TS, and I would recommend that, but I have a bunch of these laying around that are actually TRS. So um, so I kind of had to see which pedals they did work with. I, well, I didn't really have a problem with it all until I got this new uh, True Tone pedal. So I have a Boss pedal that I can't say it works with perfectly because my guitar is going directly into the Boss pedal. Um, I may try it out and let you know. But I have a RAT, you know, that works with it, uh, Line 6, M13, or maybe the, the M9 or M, M whatever 3 they have. Um, I've found that these work with those, with the Line 6. Um, it used to work with my old Jekyll and Hyde, so like the version 1, I had the gray one. It worked with that fine. And so it wasn't until I bought this new pedal that I realized that these don't always work with the guitar pedals. Um... So I'm going to show you kind of the hack, and um, with all that being said, um, I can use this coming out of my Jekyll and Hyde, but I can't use it going in. So I'm having to use a, a normal cable going in, and then this one I can still use, but I only can use it on the out of the, of the pedal. So bottom line is, if you can get these in, in just a tip sleeve, do it. But, so, alright, this is white, this is black, but this is not a regular black cable. And I will reveal to you my secret um, in a moment. See, there you go. This is actually a bright neon pink or Barbie pink. I don't know. Uh, but it's a, yeah, it's a pink, nasty looking cable. See that? So I'm not going to take the whole thing off, but that's what it is. So um, my hack is... And I'm not going to show you how to do it because I think you can figure it out yourself. But you get electrical tape, get it from wherever, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, the internet. Uh, just get some decent electrical tape. And um, I would start, I wouldn't necessarily start at the head, but maybe start at the bottom of the base of the, of the plug and, and go and just make a nice wrap. And, you know, the, the ends are the worst part of it. Uh, I haven't got those really nice and neat, but the cable itself, you really have to look to see that it's actually got electrical tape on it. It looks pretty decent. Um, and But on the board, you can't see these, 
and you have to get really close. And um, another thing about about cables is a lot of people will say that you know a cable can like one cable sounds better than the other, but a cable, from what I understand, cannot introduce any kind of EQ signal to your guitar tone. Like so, they can only take away um, treble by adding resistance and length and things like that so so you know these things uh, I also read just recently on Lava Cables website they have kind of like their tier of like uh, the best patch cables that they have and then on down the line and they have maybe like eight or so uh, different types and on down the list was like the solderless tightrope because um, for, for the fact being that they are solderless and that um, mechanically they can kind of come apart if you mess with them too much because they don't have that um, that soldered connection so um, you know these things are soldered and they're they're just cables so if you can tell me a reason scientifically why this cable is bad for some reason to put on your pedal board I'd love to hear it um, it is a little long I actually like this in certain cases because uh, on my pedal board, sometimes I, because of the order and because of the shapes of the pedals, you want them in different places and sometimes a short little patch cable, like a three inch one you might pick up somewhere as just a single cable is not long enough. So these come in handy if you have to make long runs or for the shape of the pedals weird or the combination of shapes you have to like snake it around. I actually like to have extra length. Um, and like I said, it's black so I'm assuming your pedal board is black. You may have like a pedal train where you can hide the cables, but still, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna hide all of the cable. Uh, so these are black and they're gonna be pretty much camouflaged on, on stage or wherever you're playing. So uh, yeah, that's my hat. Take some electrical tape, wrap up these things. Um, I think you can get the mono plugs. I just looked on Amazon, but I didn't really pay too much attention. But I know you can get a pack of these for like eight of them for like $15. So. So um, to compare, if you bought like George L cables, you get five, pl five cables or 10 plugs with a wire for like a hundred bucks. Uh, the tightrope lava cable is, because I've just recently looked, is like um, you, get, you get 10 cables or five cables, 10 plugs for 60 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. But if you spend 15, and you got some electrical tape. I'm not saying this is a professional way to do it. This is a little, you know, white trash, whatever, redneck, ghetto, I don't know. Um, but it is a method, okay, and it, and it can work, uh, especially if you have these laying around the house and you have this, like why not? Uh, you don't wanna spend money. If we're talking about endless supply of money and you have the money to spend, by all means, get yourself some, some nice cables. But I am saying that these don't suck and they're not like bad quality cables. Um, all right, so I'm gonna shut up now. I hope this helps you and watch some more of my videos and I'll have some more up maybe in the future. Thanks. So, so yeah, we're talking about these cables. And uh, so, so looking at my board, you know, you don't really see any cables. This is the one to me maybe that stands out the most as a patch cable. And uh, it's running this expression pedal into the line six but yeah the cables uh, this is one of those flat boards right so you know this is this is one of those see like there's nothing it's not angled there's nothing you can really really hide anything under as far as cables or cords or uh, power supplies but the good thing about this is it has a lid with it see and it's uh it's very blingy it's, um, I'll try to find out the information on where I got this. I think they're still available, if nothing else, on eBay. But um, yeah, oh, I think the, yeah. So CNB, it's upside down, but CNB, and it says uh, case, I can't read it, case and bag makers to the world. Yeah. But I've had this thing for years and it stood up. I haven't flown it or anything like that, but it's done really well for just back and forth stuff from the house to wherever. Um, so again, this is a flat flat board. This is maybe one of a few types. And so with a board like this, you're not gonna be able to hide things 
underneath anything. So you're gonna have your your patch cables and your power supply stuff just out and about. So with me, um, you can see here. Here's one of these cables that I covered with duct tape. This is a this is the the pink one right here, and then I've got a green one over here. So you know, no nobody's gonna know even if you get close. If you get really close, you can see the the electrical tape. But who's going to be that close unless it's your buddy on stage or uh, another guitar geek or whatever. Um, this is another kind of a hack I've got. This is a, if I can show you, it's, I'll try to show it to you later in a picture or something. But it's like an insert for a camera box or a camera case. And uh, you put them in there and you can like make different sections for different size, I don't know, lenses or straps or whatever. Uh, I had a case kind of like that. I didn't use it for a camera. I used it for guitar stuff, but I found it and it's kind of like a riser. So I put it on here and I Velcroed it. The Velcro doesn't stick. The sticky part of the Velcro doesn't stick to it very well. So I'm going to probably glue the Velcro to it. Um, but yeah, I did that because I'm using the compressor as my first um, pedal in the signal. So I'm plugging my guitar straight in. If I had it straight on the pedal board itself, it would be too low and I could not get this cable into the pedal so that's why I've got that there um, I keep getting off topic here but so yeah these are the, some of the cables I've got kind of uh, covered up with electrical tape which is sort of weird I guess but again this is a this is a guitar hack so and then some of the other things um, you know I've got these um, I've got to have this big power supply here for this line six basically nothing else can power it even the new um, like Voodoo Labs and stuff, I don't think it'll do it. The True Tone or Visual Sound uh, Power Bricks, they won't even, they're, they're like, don't even try it because it's not got enough amperage to power this thing. So it's pretty much got to have its own power supply. And then because of the other pedals, I've got this Visual Sound one spot and uh, it's great, it's always done well. Uh, the Rat itself has a different plug, so it's got an adapter for that. But this is my Daisy Chain. Um, and with a pedal board like this, you're just going to have to deal with things on top of the board. Um, I mean, it's black, so again, you're not going to be able to really see it. It doesn't stand out that much unless you're close up. But, you know, I've got, on this one, I've got um, just a twist tie. And then on this, I've got one of those Velcro cable straps, which, let me show you real quick. Okay, so, yeah, you know what this is. Just a regular old twist tie you get with whatever, bag of bread, I don't know. Uh, and then this one is a velcro strap cable holder I don't know I got these I got a bunch of these one time at Radio Shack you can probably get them at like a hardware store I don't think Radio Shack is in existence anymore but uh, yeah I don't know Amazon probably has them something like that but these are great you know they'll stick to each other and the other good thing is they'll stick to the board um, if you have this velcro covering on your board so you can like wrap your cables up and then you can also velcro them down to the board. Um, okay, so another kind of a uh, hack I have is I found, I never found it again, but I found this pigtail sort of uh, extension cord. So let me undo it. So this is how my board normally is by itself. It just, I have this, um, this cord right here, extension cord just sitting on top. And when I put the case on, it just sits there. And then I'll take my um, extension cord itself, the long one, to the wall or whatever outlet, and I'll just plug it up right here. So I found this, I can't remember where, and I don't know, you can probably get it on Amazon, something like that, but it was white and you know, there was no other color. So I actually took a Sharpie and I just colored it all over. Um, probably spray paint would have done better, but it's actually held up, um, you can see, white right there more than anywhere else but uh yeah sharpie actually did a really good job for a long time and it's just now kind of coming off and you can see a little bit of it but but so i've got this little it's it's basically like a little power strip um not a surge protector but it has three outlets hopefully you can see that this that i was telling you about earlier is essentially this see it would be like that so I've got my one spot plugged in there, and then I've got my um, M Line 6 M13 plugged in right there. Uh, the power strips, or the power adapters. And so yeah, that's it. 
Um, I think that's all the, that I wanted to talk about. So yeah, I mean, these, this George L cable, these are great and the, the patch cables are awesome. Um, you know, if I just had money to, to spend, I would, I would definitely recommend these. But even with these, you know, you're seeing this piece of metal sticking out right here. It's shiny metal. And, you know, that's totally cool. I don't think that's a bad thing. But if you have these um, ghetto electrical tape cables, you can't even really see those because it's covering up the plug itself. So a lot of that's even hidden. So, I mean, I mean with it theoretically look like you don't even have cables on your board so it can be a cool thing I'm not saying it's the greatest and it's certainly a hack but um, yeah take it for what it is so I just want to clarify really quickly um, the way this thing is staying on my board is I've got this uh, visual sound 9 volt adapter velcroed on the other side and so it's stuck to the board it should be <laughs> um, so yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I think I've actually got the Velcro on my pedal board coming loose, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, so the the 9 volt adapter is Velcroed down, and so that's why this stays in place. I didn't want you to think I just had it flopping around on the board. Um, yeah, so I don't know if that's helpful at all. I, I've done some research to try to find this type of thing online, and I can't find it. But I'm going to put some links in the video description, uh, some things that may be somewhere that may be helpful if you're in a situation like this where you've got to have multiple adapters. So, uh, you know, I, everybody's different. Everybody's board is different. Everybody's got different pedals. Even if you have the same board, you aren't going to have the same setup as me. I'm just trying to get your, uh, let's get some ideas flowing if you're setting up a board yourself and if you're running into obstacles. So, uh, hope it helps. Thanks.